Hello YouTube, this is DBT Air Show, episode 120, part 2, today I'm reviewing Final Fantasy IV for the DS. Uh, if you haven't watched part 1 yet, go back and watch it. I talked about story, graphics, controls, music, gameplay, and some of the good stuff about this game. Um, so let's pick up where I left off. I just finished talking about all the characters in the game. Now I'm going to talk about... Um, the dungeons. In the game there are loads and loads of dungeons. Um, in this version of Final Fantasy IV, each dungeon has a map, so you can um, navigate it a lot easier. Um, the secret passages aren't put on the map, so you do have to do a bit of exploring for those if you want to. Um, if you manage to um, go everywhere in the dungeon, on the map, you actually get special items for completing the maps, which is quite a good feature. Uh, the dungeons themselves, some are quite long and some are very difficult. The final dungeon is insanely difficult. It was really hard for me. You, for the final dungeon, you have to do quite a bit of level grinding. You need to be level 75 plus to get through the final dungeon. It's a really difficult dungeon. And we'll get to that the game. Are the bosses there are a lot of good bosses in this game. The uh, final boss it's quite tricky because um if you don't use the crystal item in your inventory, you can't attack it. So your stats you're stood there stabbing it with your sword and summoning spells and it doesn't they do nothing. But until you figure out you have to use the crystal in your inventory, it's quite puzzling of how to beat the damn thing. Uh, so the bosses can be really, really difficult. Um, and the great thing about the game are the spells. There are lots and lots of magic spells which you can do. So I will now find the battle and talk about the battle system, I suppose. Right. And the battle system is turn-based. Like Final Fantasy, like most Final Fantasy games. There's all, if you press the X button whilst in battle, you can also do it, it the um, game change to like an auto battle, so the get battle players out without you um, doing anything, it just, the game just attacks everything for you. It's not a bad feature, but it can be a little bit unreliable at times. Um, Whoops, the battle's just in us, so I'll, I'll just find him. Um... I'll just find him um, in your battle. Come on. Here we go. Right, as I was saying. Now, in the game, you have spells. So I'll get um, her to attack, him to attack. I'll get Seto to use Cura on everybody. Um, Rydia can summon a Bahamut and Edge can defend. Um, your party has five party members at a time. This is one of the um, summons in the game. This is Bahamut. All the summons are um, done by FMV cutscenes and they look absolutely amazing. I mean, look at this. This game definitely does show what the DS is capable of. That's basically what the battles are like. Um, the battle system is very good. Uh, throughout the game, you do get different vehicles, you get different airships. There's um, this the um, lunar whale, the, the final airship of the game. It's a it's a good airship, and it takes you to the moon where the final comp where the final dungeon is. Although it is rather slow. Um, on the um, main world map, I have got some other airships, which do move a little bit faster. Let's see, I talk about character there, talk about characters. Oh, and you were great thing about this game, 
are the special things called Oglets. Now, throughout the game, certain characters may die. And when the character dies, they leave you with this special item called an Oglet. And the Oglet lets that, that character's abilities pass on to a different character so you can teach a different character that ability. Example, um, there's a character in the game who has this ability called Bless, which which replenishes your MP, which is your magic points. And it, when he dies, you it gives you the um, Oglet, which so you can teach Bless to one of your characters, which is which I thought was a really good idea. Um, also in the game, if you go inside your airship, there is a really there's a special thing. In the airship, you can in the airship called Luna Whale, you can actually rest, so you can restore your health and stuff. Um. If in the towns or in the airship or in this airship, if you talk to this um, chocobo, this one's a robot for some bizarre reason. You can do certain things in the game. Example, you can look at your um, beast city, where you can check enemies and see how strong they are, all the ones that you've beaten. And there's also a theatre event where you can watch cutscenes. Uh, the cutscenes are quite long, so I can't really show you them, but they are really well done. I was really impressed. Um, also, if you talk to this chocobo, there are some mini games where you can do a, a small character to um, train it up. And you can also fight with this character in the multiplayer mode. That's basically all the good stuff I can think of YouTube, so um, let's go to the bad stuff. Okay, now the best about Final Fantasy IV for the DS, there is very little to complain about. It's probably one of the best DS games out there. Out there. Uh, I have come up with two complaints, though. Um, this isn't really a complaint, but the game is very difficult. If you haven't played RPGs before, this game is very difficult. One thing you will have to do a lot of is level grinding. Um... Like I said, to beat the final dungeon, you need to be level 75 plus. So, in this game, you will need to do a lot of level grinding. Um, that's not really a bad thing, but it can be a little bit annoying at times. Um, another complaint I have about the game is the um, mini games which you play with the um, mechanical chocobo. Uh, some some of them are way too difficult and some of them mostly involve using the stylus and sometimes the um, games even tell you how to play them properly. So that was a little bit annoying as well. But aside from that, the game is awesome and it's definitely well worth buying if you're a fan of the Final Fantasy series or if you're a fan of RPGs. It's just a really good game. And it definitely well worth picking up. So I give this game a 4 out of 5. Uh, my next review will be, a, will be my very first WiiWare review. I'm going to review Onslaught on, on the WiiWare. But that review won't come for a very long time because I'm going to do a Let's Play soon. Um, I will do an update video in the next few days to um, tell you when the Let's Play is going to start and I will also review which game I'm going to do. So, I'll see you next time. Bye.